People think that being a Star Wars fan is for cosplayers and for people playing board games in their mom's basement. But not only do you have to be mentally strong, but you also have to be physically fit to be able to handle some of the biggest and baddest characters in the galaxy. Like Luke Skywalker in his desert sports skiff. After the acquisition of Kenner Toys by Hasbro in 1995, Hasbro, in the spring of 1996, sought to make its own place in the Star Wars universe by releasing the deluxe line of Star Wars figures. Now, while these figures were characters that every Star Wars fan would recognize, they sought to kind of think outside of the box, which was met with a great deal of hesitancy um, by most fans going into the late 95, early 96 season. Um, when these first hit the shelf, a lot of people were quite skeptical of them, seeing how Luke Skywalker was overly exaggerated with his giant biceps and perfectly uh, sculpted pecs and ab. Uh, you even have some giant thigh muscle action going on there. They also sought to think outside of the box with their first deluxe line series, um, by accompanying each figure with a vehicle that was not seen inside the movies nor uh, considered to be a part of any type of Star Wars universe canon. As an explanation of the things that they did before the Star Wars movies made them famous. So with the Desert Sports GIF, this is what Luke Skywalker would have ridden around with. Um, Biggs dark lighter, uh, dark lighter when they were shooting Wampa Rats when it's mentioned in A New Hope. This is the vehicle that apparently Luke Skywalker was referring to. On the back of the package it includes a brief description of Luke Skywalker and his desert sports gif. Um, now on the back of the package it includes a brief description of Luke Skywalker with the Desert Sports GIF. And while it does include a very brief description of how the Desert Sports GIF was included in the Star Wars universe between Luke Skywalker and his time with Biggs Darklighter and shooting Wampa Rats on Beggar's Canyon, um, it was pretty tough to get through. Um, this was actually the very beginning of uh, a very limited run of the deluxe series. It also includes on the back of the package the figures that were included in the very limited deluxe line run. So you got Han Solo with his smuggler flight pack, you got the deluxe crowd control stormtrooper, and apparently, I forgot about this, but apparently um, Luke Skywalker was the only one that came with his actual, <laughs> with his fighter. Um, everybody else was sold separately. Um, in that line was also included the speeder bike with the biker scout, the swoop with the sweep trooper, um, which is another one of those infamous <laughs> Hasbro, uh, additions where they make things up as they go. Uh, swoop and it's swoop trooper <laughs> was, uh, to the best of my knowledge, never in any part of the extended universe or any comic or anything like that. But I could be wrong. If I am, let me know down in the comments. Um, you also get the, you also got uh, Dash Rendar's Outrider as well as the the electronic Rebel Snow Speeder. Around the same time, uh, Hasbro also released their Shadows of the Empire 2-packs, which in those 2-packs you got uh, Boba Fett and IG-88 as well as a comic book from Dark Horse. In the other package you also got Darth Vader versus Prince Zizor um, with a uh, Dark Horse comic um, also included in that. Um, on the very bottom, uh, as a part of that Shadows of the Empire single figure, you got Chewbacca with the Bounty Hunter disguise, Prince Izor, Dash Rendar um, from the Dark Horse, the Dark Horse comic series, uh, Luke Skywalker with his Imperial disguise, uh, Han Solo in Carbonite, Princess Leia in her Bush disguise, and Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Um, also, you got the proof of purchase that you could uh, cut out and then send in for uh, specific mail orders. 
There's the seal for the official Star Wars fan club. So, <clears throat> Luke Skywalker with the Desert Sports Skiff um, basically came with the Sports Skiff itself, um, which had this hook on the very bottom for uh, to lock the wings in place, which if you moved, then the wings came out. Now, this wasn't a very big hit because the guns are pretty flimsy. Um, if you can see, they actually um, barely even, they just slide right onto the wings, but it's extremely <laughs> sketchy. Like, there's nothing to permanently, permanently attach them. Um, it looks like a hair clip. Um, and that's how they attach on. Um, it also has a button. <clears throat> it also has a button right there um, in front of the navigation system um, to be able to shoot the missile at Womp Rats. Another thing that was <clears throat> highly unpopular with this design was uh, the 95-96 uh, He-Man Universe Star Wars series, um, if you'd like to call them that, had this um, unidentifiable giant black um, indention in the back of the figure, in the middle of the figure's back. Um, Hasbro said that this was to allow for the figures to open the possibilities of playability with the characters and different vehicles. Now, while that's the official statement that they gave, um, here we are 20 years later, and that was never actually seen um, to be true. Thanks everybody, that's a wrap for another week's look into 90s figures and the Power of the Forest series. Um, if you like what you saw, um, like the video, share the video with your friends and your neighbors, um, and subscribe to the channel so you can get updated with future content. Um, now that we're at the week of The Last Jedi, um, basically I'm going to go silent just like the rest of the internet world. Um, super excited to see what becomes of Rey and what becomes of Kylo Ren. Extremely excited to see if there's any mention or uh, background story on the Knights of Ren. Excited to see what Porgs are like. What do they do other than being cute? Um, I hope that everybody has a wonderful week. Thanks for being supportive of me and everything that I do. Um, I absolutely could not do this without you, and it is a joy to be able to show you and make these videos for you every week. So, everybody have a good week. Everybody enjoy uh, The Last Jedi. Go and see it once, twice, 30 times, and uh, may the Force be with you. <laughs>